Welcome to this tutorial for Cloudflare sources. Cloudflare is one of our popular partner ecosystem apps and the documents are maintained by our partners at Cloudflare. The Cloudflare app provides a set of dashboards that make analyzing Cloudflare logs easy with dashboards and searches to help you understand reliability, traffic, rate limiting, web application firewall events, bot management, and performance. Logs are gathered from all 160 Cloudflare data centers in near real time and can be combined with other data sources, such as your origin data, to provide unique insights and help you improve the performance and security of your websites and applications. Getting started with Cloudflare is easy. First, make sure that you have logs enabled for your Cloudflare Enterprise account. Contact your Cloudflare account manager if you need logs enabled. You will be sending logs to an HTTP endpoint using Log Push. Next, set up your hosted collector. We have a great video on this that you can watch to get started if you have not set up a hosted collector before. You can find the video here. Choose your hosted collector from the collector's page. Click Add Source. Select HTTP Logs and Metrics. The HTTP source for logs and metrics will appear. Be sure to name your source something logical and intuitive to you so that you can find it again easily. The description is optional. The source host field is also optional, as not all data sources have host names. This will override the default set in the host name field at the collector level. Now you need to create a metadata tag for the output of data from the source, called a source category. This is the default field for assigning data when you install the Sumo Logic app, our end goal. Specify a logical source category name so that you will be able to find what you need in your searches later. You can specify useful information in the source category such as environment, geographic information, business unit, application name, and log type. Here are some examples of Cloudflare logs. For now, that'll be enough. As you get more advanced, you can perform additional pre-processing to refine the data coming in. Click Save to save your Cloudflare source. The HTTP source window appears with a URL. Copy the URL and keep it private. This URL is unique to you, so do not share it with anyone. You will use this URL to send data to Sumo Logic using the collector. Click OK. In Cloudflare, select the Sumo Logic Cloud service. Then, enter the HTTP source address URL that was generated when prompted by the Log Push API or UI. The URL will act as the connection between Cloudflare and Sumo Logic so that the Cloudflare logs can be fed into Sumo Logic. Quick advice, if for any reason you regenerate your HTTP source URL, you will have to provide it to LogPush again. For more information, go to the Cloudflare documentation available here. Check to make sure your source is green on the Manage Collection page. Let's further validate the data coming from the source by checking the source category in a query window. From the Home tab, select Plus New and select Log Search. In the query bar, select Source Category is equal to and enter your source category name. For me, it will be underscore source category equals lab slash Cloudflare. You will see log messages return in Cloudflare format. Thank you for watching.